continuing our house calls with MedStar Health, talking about cancer, cancer risk in women, breast cancer, other cancers. And Dr. Farhar is back with us, the breast surgeon and medical director at the Breast Center at MedStar Good Samaritan Hospital. Doctor, thanks for being with us. You always have great insight. Thank you. We're talking about uh, someone who has to have their breast removed. People always want to know, well, why do I have to have chemotherapy? Why, if, why do I have to have radiation if I'm having a breast removed? Uh, that's a really good question, Kelly. Uh, sometimes we treat, most patients are actually not treated with a whole breast removal. Many patients get treated with partial mastectomy. However, if the tumor is removed, why would we give patients chemotherapy or hormonal therapy? Because these tumors, are there, as they're forming, they release cells into the circulation. And these cells are hiding somewhere in the body and will show up, may show up, mm -hmm. a year, five years, ten years later. So these treatments are directed to kill these cells. The surgery itself will not get rid of them. That's where hormonal, chemo, and other treatments come into, into effect. Does everyone have to have chemotherapy? Not really, actually. We've had a lot of decrease in the use of chemotherapy in the recent past. Uh, so patients who are triple negative mm -hmm. or are HER2 positive will always benefit from chemotherapy. ER positive, estrogen receptor positive patients, these are the majority of patients, 70% of them don't need chemotherapy. We run specific tests on the tumors to make sure that they don't need the chemotherapy and we save them from getting chemotherapy that's not effective for them. What is hormone therapy? Tell us what that is. So the estrogen receptor tu positive tumors live off estrogen. Mm -hmm. Estrogen is like a fertilizer for them. Depriving these cancer cells from the estrogen will kill them or will not allow them to grow. So you, patients will take pills, most often pills for five years, sometimes 10 years, and these either block the estrogen receptor, so the estrogen that their body produces is not effective anymore, or shut down the synthesis of estrogen, or damage the estrogen receptor so that the cells might die. Hormonal therapy reduces recurrences in half. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of side effects associated with that? The side effects from hormonal therapy are significant, but they're minor compared to chemotherapy. It's largely sometimes a 65-year-old who's gone through menopause already mm -hmm. will go through hot flashes again. There's also uh, uh, body aches and joint pains are the commonest. Which you may already have anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, exercise mm -hmm. always helps with that. Okay. And there are other treatments for that as well. All right, Dr. Farhar, thank you so much for joining us. Again, as you see our operator standing by to take your calls, MedStar Health taking your cancer concerns. The number to call is 410-671-0702.